Hey, it's Jeff. Welcome back to another video. Tonight is going to be a little bit of a project night. Just going to lay these here for now. I have a couple pothos cuttings that have been uh, rooting in water for a little while now. I want to pot them up in some soil just in these terracotta pots, and I'm going to be adding these uh, wood planks. These are from, like, it's a spare set of planks, uh, bed planks, from one of my kids' beds. It was literally just sitting in the garage, so I thought I would uh, grab them and just uh, toss them in the pot. So I want to train these pothos plants to grow up the planks. That way it can achieve these uh, larger, massive uh, pothos leaves. So I have uh, two separate cuttings uh, or two different types of pothos. This is the uh, golden pothos. It's from my plant right up here. And this stem is super chunky. Look at how thick this stem is. And it's got some pretty decent roots. It's got three leaves, so I'm gonna stick it in the pot like this. And uh, like I said, add that plank just so it can uh, train this plant to grow um, upright. And then here is a Marble Queen Pothos. So I can't take credit for this idea. I actually got the idea from another plant channel, um, Caitlin Life in the Tropics. She has a wonderful YouTube channel. You should go check it out. But she has a bunch of different types of plants and pothos being one of them where she trains uh, up these wood planks to get these uh, large leaves. I highly recommend checking out her collection. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, okay, let's get started with these ones. Now I'm going to size it up because I have to add the plank in the back. I don't want it damaging any of the roots or anything like that. So you can see it's uh, seated quite nicely actually in the pot in the bottom. But I'm gonna take my pruning shears, whoops, and I'm just going to cut off just this small little section Probably shouldn't have done that because now I have an open wound where it can potentially rot, which I shouldn't have done. Okay, gonna set this aside. I'm gonna add, get this out of the way. Okay, so now I'm just using just a regular potting mix for this, and I'm simply going to add a little bit of soil in the bottom here first. I'm going to take the wood plank. It's going to be seated like on the root. Actually, I don't know why I just did that. I'm just going to dump that out. I'm going to see how this plank sits. It sits right on the root. Okay, well that, I'm going to put this in first and then I'm going to add the cutting in. Just around the back like that maybe. That's a little bit better. Just so you can see like the plant is kind of wrapped around the back. I just don't want it crushing the roots. So it's a pretty easy project and I'm gonna pack it down pretty good so that this wood plank does not fall over. I have a couple other cuttings on these wood planks. I'll show you in a second. I have a Cebu Blue or Cebu Blue and I have a, another golden pothos as well but this one has uh, some pretty large leaves already so that's why I'm pretty excited to see this one grow up the plank. I've been like I said rooting it in water for a few weeks now. It's finally got some decent roots where I can put it on this wood plank. I'm gonna water it here as well. Anytime you have a water propagated plant um, and you transition it to soil you just want to make sure that you keep the soil relatively damp or wet for about the first two weeks. That way the water propagated roots don't dry out. Just gonna use this pencil here just to poke down the soil, uh, filling in any air pockets. Okay, now this cutting has moved. If this cutting doesn't naturally attach to, whoa, shoot dumped a bunch of soil on the floor. If it doesn't naturally attach to the wood, um, you can just use like either tape or some of that uh, plant flexible wire. I'm also going to be misting the wood plank. I'm gonna try and do it daily just so it gives the, uh, the aerial roots some moisture to search out for and uh, just uh, like adhere to the wood plank, grab onto. Okay, so something like that. I think that looks pretty good. The wood plank is supporting itself. It's nice and packed down at the back. Everything's nice and straight. And once you give it some water, it's gonna settle the soil as well and kind of solidify the uh, positioning of the plank. 
Okay, so I'll set this one aside and I will do the marble queen pull of those. Whoa, geez. Now for this one, I'm going to put the wood plank, I think this is pine actually, if anyone cares. Um, I'm going to set it more at the back of the pot. And then I'm gonna just stick the cutting in like that. Trying to hold both of them at the same time and just filling it up with some soil. Actually, I'm just gonna hold it like this. I'm gonna keep this one closer to the wood plank and I'm hoping that it'll just naturally attach itself as it continues to grow up. But otherwise I'm gonna to have to somehow secure it. I do have that flexible plant wire that I'll probably just use that. This is kind of, I guess, a goal of mine this year, I guess for the channel, is to grow these larger leaves on these pothos plants. You see them like in the, out in their natural habitat growing up trees and they're just like absolutely massive leaves. I would love to have an entire wall of that downstairs with uh, these large pothos plants or these pothos leaves. I think it would actually look pretty cool. Okay, this one is pretty much done. Just gonna use the pencil, just poke it down a little bit more and really pack it down. Just clean the leaves off with my little spray ball here just of any dirt and that sort of thing. And then I just like to spray the top of the soil here just to help settle it a little bit. But now I'm going to give it some water. I'm just gonna soak the soil till it comes out the bottom of the drain hole. I'm gonna get the back here as well. These are really top heavy, so I don't wanna tip them over. I don't know what's going on with this one. This soil was kind of like bubbling up or puffing up. Yeah, it's packed down pretty good, just like that. It doesn't drain very well. This It's kind of a little bit I guess drier soil on top. Hopefully the uh, soil will, will absorb the uh, water here. One thing I like to do when using terracotta for the first time, especially with these uh, water propagated plants, terracotta is very good at absorbing soil moisture. It's very porous, so it likes to pull moisture out of the soil and evaporate it. So I just usually spray down the sides of the pot. That way it doesn't take away from the uh, moisture from the soil. That way it doesn't dry out too quickly. Like I said, you probably want to keep these a little bit more on the damp side for the first two weeks and then once the uh, transition to uh, soil, like these cuttings transition to soil, then you can cut back on the water into what you would uh, normally water a pothos plant with. Just cleaning up the sides here as well. Just rotate it around. Looks like it's thoroughly saturated, thoroughly watered. Okay, now I gotta find a saucer for these guys and I'll put them underneath the uh, grow light downstairs here in the basement. Okay, here's the finished product. I got uh, both of them cleaned up. They're on their saucers. I'll show you where I'm gonna place them here in a second. Really looking forward to seeing uh, these grow up this uh, wood plank or the uh, pine uh, throughout the year here. And I'll be providing some updates, obviously. That's a pretty easy project, except for the, uh, the mess that I made. Got dirt everywhere, but I gotta clean that up. So I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna place these here with the other two uh, plant planks that I already have going underneath the grow light. Might have to get something a little bit different for a grow light so that it uh, has more of a wider range now that I have four of these uh, plant plank pots. So this is where I currently have my wood plank set up. It's just on the floor of my little plant workshop area. See, this is the uh, one grow light that I have right now, so I'm gonna definitely have to upgrade this. Here's the two original pots. This is another golden pothos. It's got a couple cuttings in this one. Here is a sea blue blue. It's got some uh, new little growth popping out, but I'm gonna have to water these ones as well. Looking pretty dry. Then here's the uh, new golden pothos and the marble queen. I think they'll do really well here, and I want them to grow up these planks and just fill in this portion of the wall with these uh, large massive leaves. I think it would look pretty cool here. So this is where they're gonna stay. You might have to upgrade the grow light, like I said, but otherwise, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how these grow throughout the year. And again, I'll be providing some updates uh, with these plants in the uh, coming videos. So I think that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it down below in the comment section. Thanks again for watching my videos. Appreciate the support. Thanks, take care, bye.